Hello, today we'll be solving for the measure of variation using Excel. So we have here um, the raw data, which is the internet usage in hours, and we will look for the range, the variance, the standard deviation, and in this in this case we will include the mean and the coefficient of variation. Now for the range that is just the maximum minus the minimum. So in our case, this is the maximum. We subtract it with the minimum. Next, the variance. The variance is, you can use the variance.s for the sample variance or the variance.p for the population variance. In our case, let's just pretend that we're solving for samples. Again, we're solving for samples. To solve for the variance, what we will do is we get the mean of the data. So let's compute for the mean of the data that is average of everything that is in here. And then we have 20n, that means the total number of elements that we are solving. Now for the variance, the first step is getting this one. To solve that, we'll have parentheses 6 minus 11.7, that is our mean. I put 11.7. You can also click this one, but you have to put a dollar sign so that it will not move as you drag it. Parenthesis, raise to 2. And that is our uh, mean, x minus mean, raised to 2. And I will drag it down. I will show you the whole data. It's actually this one. You sum this. We actually call this the SS or simply the sum of squares. I will use letter N, let's just small letter N because we're computing for the sample. So let's just pretend that this is a sample data. Now, to get the variance, what we will do, we divide it with 20 minus 1 because we're talking about sample. Again, if we're talking about the population, you just divide it by 20. But since I told you that this is a sample data, so I'll just use n, small letter n minus 1, and we will have that variance. The next one is the standard deviation. The standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So we have that value. Now, if you want to confirm if this is right, what you can do is you use the formula that we have in Excel that is var.s, which is a variance for a sample. Just drag this down, and we have that. And then we can also use stdev.s is the standard deviation for a sample. So we'll use it here. Okay, the next one is the mean. The mean is just the average of everything. I think we've solved that earlier, and that's 11.7. For the coefficient of variation, the coefficient of variation is the standard deviation divided by the mean. So again, it's the standard deviation. You divide it by the mean. And we have there that. Now, as you observe, this is less than 1. It's actually okay that it's less than 1 because normally the coefficient of variation is written in percentage. So let's put that in its percentage form. So that is the coefficient of variation. So I hope this helps in solving for the measure of variation of a raw data.